This track is completely different than, uh, say, Daytona and Sebring, the first two stops for the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge. Both those tracks have uh, longer straights, heavier brake zones, whereas uh, here at Laguna it's going to be um, preparing for momentum. You know, it's a tighter track, won't have the same top speeds at all, but uh, in the Porsche it's going to be some momentum corners, trail braking, as opposed to heavy brake zones and, uh, and longer straights. So having literally hundreds of laps on the simulator, uh, I feel I'm, I'm prepared for this track. You know, it won't be long until we're in the car and, and enjoying uh, a lap around Laguna. The balance of performance uh, really not being in our favor, the Porsche really is uh, an underdog here at this track. It felt the best as it's been uh, so far this year and uh, uh, we, we did all right. We ran our, our fastest lap time to date, uh, finding almost a second and a half um, over my best uh, lap time in practices. So looking forward to seeing where that puts us on the grid. Not only the thrill of just being here at Laguna, but also I have a turn 14 distribution and KNN cold air intakes here cheering us on and uh, just being part of the race team for the weekend. So I'm really happy to have them here and uh, looking forward to showing them a good finish. There must have been a couple cars tangled up coming out of turn eight, I guess. There was some debris on the road, and I must have caught a little bit of that debris because uh, uh, within a few corners after that, I had a flat tire and uh, had to limp the car back into pit road. Oh, well, I radioed into uh, Ron, our engineer. Um, he basically asked me if I wanted to stay in or put Kyle in the car at that time. It just made sense. Being forced to pit under green, I had no choice. We put Kyle in the car uh, while we changed the four tires. I mean, we can count on Kyle Marcelli to, to lay down some of the fastest lap times, basically at any track. Long story short, uh, Kyle got in the car, and unfortunately, it wasn't five laps later, uh, the transmission decided to let go. Uh, Kyle told me later that he had basically lost third and fourth gear. We had no choice but to uh, call the race at that point in time. We just have to get over that disappointment, uh, get over the situation, it is racing, and uh, get ready for Lime Rock. Again, it's a higher speed, a smaller course, 
I think uh, with the long front straight and uh, you know our smaller frontal area on our uh, Porsche car, it should be a good track for us. And I, I know the team will be ramped up, ready to go. And there's no doubt that Kyle and I both will be uh, prepared mentally, physically, and uh, we are more than ready and looking forward to a, a good finish at Line Rock. Quick shout out to my friends over at GoPuck. Uh, they've stepped up uh, for the balance of the season. They'll be uh, supporting the Rebel Rock MBRP 08 Porsche. A uh, bunch of cool guys. They got some great products. Uh, we'll be seeing more of them over, uh, over the course of the year as well.